Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is Artemis over here and this is about, um, you know, trying um, to make a decision uh, but you need to be taking your time when you make that decision. Don't be rash. Don't rush into things. Uh, consider all the facts very, very carefully uh, before you actually do anything. So just, uh, you know, take it easy, take it slow, and uh, be very, very, um, you know, deliberate when you make this particular decision. Now you've got the rebel card over here, so it seems like, you know, you want to do something that, uh, you know, uh, people are not agreeing with, uh, you know, it's almost out with the old, in with the new, uh, you're looking at things from a very different perspective, following your intuition over there, you've got that eye over there, um, and, you know, you've got a good idea, but it's something very, very different, uh, maybe you're even, uh, you know, meeting very, very different people, um, you know, forming friendships with very, very different people, um, and maybe this is the thing that, um, you know, is... Um, being that rebel is causing a little bit of a stir up there. You may have to give in a little bit, so you've got concession over here, so maybe whatever you want to do and people don't agree with, you might, might have to just compromise a little bit over there. You've got this concession card over here, uh, so just, you know, not rushing in to things, uh, you know, seeing things uh, from a balanced point of view. So like uh, the Artemis card says, make that decision, but don't be rash, um, you know, uh, don't, maybe not stirring up or, or sh shaking the boat too much there um, so you know make that decision but also be aware that you know other people have feelings so try not to do things that uh, stirs up too much of a commotion uh, but whatever it is you want to do um, you know um, you know I always say go for it but but don't be too rash think about all the consequences before you act so in the past, you've got the visitor over there. So it looks like you have run into somebody from the past, maybe uh, even gotten some kind of message from somebody uh, in the past. So you know, there's that visitor in the sense that somebody's been, uh, an old relationship has resurfaced there. Uh, you've got the disseminating card and taking responsibility. So it looks like, you know, you are looking at, at your life and deciding, uh, you know, you are taking responsibility for your actions over there, or you need to take responsibility for any of your actions. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's like don't pass the buck. Make sure that, uh, you know, um, everything you've done, you know, you can account for. This is very, very important. Uh, so this is about, uh, you know, um, not... A, passing buck on to somebody else, but taking responsibility for any kind of act uh, and not blaming people for things. Uh, so that's very, very important. And that is, is some kind of phase that you're going through. You're finding, you know, seeing your uh, role within whatever that situation was that developed. Now, going into the future, uh, the, there's the impulse card. Um, so um, this is about, um, you know, making a fresh start, uh, starting something and putting a lot of energy into it. So, you know, this is about acting out of instinct, uh, you know, following your, um, your gut instincts and going for it, really. So getting that power back in your hand, but also using it to start a brand new cycle in your life. And you're heading towards stability over there. So something coming in as far as relationships go, uh, that you know, you've got leaves. This is about uh, things blossoming or, or things growing in your life. And you're reaching a phase where you're more stable. So, you know, you're, you're finding your feet all over again, uh, you know, uh, trying to do something different, but finding your stability back again. Um, and, uh, you know, having to, uh, you know, acting uh, on your own will, but acting for yourself there with that impulse card. Uh, so, you know, getting your power back and using it productively uh, to get stability back in your life. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to be using the Symbolon deck for the main read. This is a non-traditional tarot deck. Um, so we'll be doing main read with that. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, um, you've got this dealing with the mundane uh, issues in life. So it looks like you and the person that you were involved in, uh, you know, had really, um, the spark was gone from that relationship. 
they were getting on with things, uh, you know, the relationship had taken that turn for being very boring or there was nothing going on in it. You were getting on with your life and your work, that person was getting on with their life and their work. You all didn't seem to have much in common anymore and, you know, you were just getting on for the sake of getting on. So, you know, it seems like, uh, you know, and there was a lot of arguments and fighting going on over there. You can see you all had uh, your own views, you were pretty stubborn, the both of you, and you were not willing to give in to each other. So stalemate situation reached. There's also a breakdown of communication there with that sword and that rift going on over there. So maybe a lot of conflict came coming through, a lot of verbal arguments. This could be a divorce because you've got that sword over there, uh, and it looks like you know that separation came through because both of you uh, were not really interested in what the other person was doing. So you all got on and you were doing things um, you know, for yourself and following your own path. You all seem to have different visions about life. Um, you can see both looking in different directions, as different as night and day. Um, so that's what happened. So even though you were still attached to each other, uh, you know, so married, you were looking at things or growing in very, very different viewpoints, and it looks like you wanted to follow very different paths. So you have been focusing a lot about on your money. You've been worried about money. You've been trying to put aside money and saving. So maybe doing work uh, and you know keeping yourself isolated in a sense, but also being very, very, very concerned about finances as well. This has been something that's been on your mind quite a bit. So that's what's going on with you right now. Now, initially, you know, you started this relationship and you were very, very um, impressed with each other. Uh, you know, it seems you're very, very obsessed with each other. The world seemed to revolve on, around the two of you there uh, with this um, this card. It's showing, you know, uh, this woman has only got eyes for this man and this man only has eyes for this woman. So it seems like that's how you started this relationship on. But it seems like there was that breakdown of communication. You've got this angel standing with, between the two, the couple here. And, uh, you know, she's got her finger on her, her mouth there. So it seems like the communication between the two of you broke down. And this has been the ultimate um, uh, cause of the relationship breaking down. You all stopped communicating with each other. And you can see both these people's eyes are closed. So not seeing the truth about what was happening. Um, and, you know, maybe keeping things from each other as well within that relationship. And this has led to the ultimate demise of that relationship. Now, you felt very, very unsupported as well. It, maybe this person was not around you and there was no communication that was going on between you and this person. You've got this woman sitting alone on the sofa over here with Hermes trying to, um, you know, um, console her. So maybe you did a lot of traveling and that's why the communication broke down. Or maybe the other person traveled quite a bit and, you know, this uh, left uh, you feeling isolated, alone, unsupported, uh, with nobody to talk to, really. And it looks like it ended up in a divorce or will end up in a divorce. Uh, it looks like a judgment being passed over here with this particular card. So there's some kind of legal uh, ending to this particular situation. And you're grieving over whatever's happened. So this is about crying over the loss. You can see this used to be a building and now there's just ruins in the back over there. And that's how you feel. You feel like everything is stuck. Everything's at a bit of a standstill. You're very, very, very upset about what is happening. And you feel like everything has... Uh, you know, everything is in ruins, really. And, you know, this situation has left you feeling very trapped. Now, you want to make a brand new start. You've got that fool behind the, the uh, burglar guards there. So it looks like, you know, you're feeling still trapped. Uh, maybe you're waiting for this legal decision to come through and everything to get sorted out before you can uh, move on and make a decision. So you are still feeling very trapped uh, within uh, whatever's going on at the moment. It seems like you can't make a move. And you want to make a, make, uh, to make a move. You want to take a risk. You want to, to leave the situation completely behind and move on. And this is in your hopes and fears. Uh, you want to make a fresh start, a clean break from this particular situation. So going into the future and the final outcome over here, um, you've got this, um, the card about you know people uh, looking at your relationship, you feeling, uh, you know, there's a lot of gossip going on about what had happened within this particular relationship, um, you know, and you feel like they're victimizing you. So, it, you know, you also feel as though everybody's turned against you and people are talking about you behind your back with this card of gossip. Now, you're going to be making a brand new start over there. This is the fool taking, uh, ev leaving everything else behind and taking the chance and moving on. 
So, you know, it looks like you're packing up and moving on uh, from this particular relationship. You have, uh, it looks like you're going to be finding your path in life and you are moving on from this. So uh, you will make a brand new start after everything is get, gets sorted out. And, uh, you know, with this card over here of truth being revealed, so whatever uh, things have been hidden within that relationship are now finally coming to light. And this is the thing that's going to be setting you free. So the truth will set you free over there and it will make you, um, you will start a brand new cycle or brand new start, making a fresh start and going off by yourself, really. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot and this is for the Oracle read. So you've come through a very difficult relationship. It looks like you've, uh, you grow, grew apart from this particular person. And, uh, you know, you've now separated because it doesn't seem like the spark was there in that relationship anymore. And you're now moving on. And you're going to go and start something afresh. You've got the Peace card over here. So release the past. Uh, there's more enriching future coming. And let go and let God. So, uh, you know, this is, this is the death card, really. And it's about letting go of that past and moving on to something else. And I like the way it says, let go and let God. So, you know, you're going to have to just put your trust and faith uh, in the divine and move forward. Uh, this is changing your perspective. There's a better way. Uh, so pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. So you're going to have to take a risk, take a chance, do something different uh, and see, see the situation for the positives rather than the negatives and get out of that energy of grieving as well. This is the hangman card. So maybe things don't seem like they're moving, but once you get that epiphany, you get that enlightenment, you get that new idea uh, of that, the, and you know you see the truth in the situation, things will start moving. And then finally, the five of Gabriel says a challenge you can resolve, uh, withdraw from the drama of others, um, have patience with yourself and those around you. So don't uh, you know get into unnecessary arguments and fighting. Choose your battles wisely. Be strategic. You can see she's playing chess here. Be strategic in how you do things. Uh, think of the consequences of any words spoken because once you say something nasty, it's out there in the ether and you can't take it back. So, you know, make sure you, you pick your battles wisely and don't get yourself drawn into fights unnecessarily. If there is drama that appears, you know, walk away from it. This is the best way to do things. Um, and move on. Uh, be determined and move on for yourself. But you don't have to to get involved in any arguments and fights or drama, um, you know, because that just drains your energy and it, it's not good for your health. I, you know, in uh, getting t involved in, in petty fights uh, um, and losing energy uh, has an ultimate effect on the health. So just be careful of that. So make sure that you pick your, your uh, battles wisely. And if you have any problems or challenges, you will be able to sort through it, but you can do it in a very diplomatic way. Um, and, you know, in a very peaceful way. So you are moving on, uh, you know, and uh, you are going to make a fresh start. And a lot of truth will be coming to light for you as well. You will see things very clearly soon. Uh, and, uh, you know, you will get closure in this particular situation. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.